Hey guys, now you can follow me on Facebook. Just go to facebook.com slash ultramaximusreviews. Ooh, an X-Wing Transformer! I am so much more than my spaceship jet mode, you know. I can transform into a Guru Walker Guardian, a gun turret, and a scary spider bot. Bullshit. Prove it. Blast his ass. Oh no! That was pretty badass. Cybertron Weekly is your central hub for everything Transformers. Hello YouTube, Ultra Maximus back with another toy review. And today we're taking a look at the Transformers figure, and it's from the Titans Return, and it's Trigger Happy and Blue Pipe. Now, I've been wanting to get this figure for a while since it came out in its uh, debut wave, and I just, I don't know, I for some reason I passed on it, and I kept passing on it, and now it's starting kind of hard to find around here. I was at my local Walgreens, saw it sitting there, and I thought, you know what, I'll go ahead and pick him up. I had to pay a couple bucks extra, but eh, I'm glad I got him. I gotta say, just from looking at the package, the head sculpt is gorgeous. So let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. So here we have Trigger Happy in package, and uh, it's, it's the same stuff we've been getting out of the Titans Return line. Uh, we get some artwork with the uh, Blowpipe Headmaster launching off there. He turns into this X-Wing looking type of space jet. There he is. There's Blowpipe, says Trigger Happy, Titans Returns, Transformers, Generations, all the same kind of good stuff. It's got some artwork there of uh, Trigger Happy. Nothing on that side, so just kind of close up of the artwork. Looks cool, I like it. Uh, looks like there's a missile flying back there. Very neat missile there, very, very cool. There is Trigger Happy, and it says Generations and Transformers. Titans Return, and there he is, looking all kinds of cool. There's the artwork again. Yeah, pretty neat, pretty fun. Here is the back of the packaging. Again, just like any of the other pieces of art, we get Trigger Happy, his head turns into a little robot, and he turns into a jet, and the little robot can pilot him. It's got a little write-up of him, the Headmaster gimmick over the whole thing. Uh, we get Overboard, uh, Twinferno, which I've already reviewed. Uh, there's also Megatron and Six Shot. I have yet to see either of those in the store. Um, I'll probably get Six Shot, I think. Megatron, I'll probably pass and get the um, Blitzwing version of him, but uh, definitely liking Trigger Happy here. So just kind of a close-up. Uh, there's all the gimmicks, how it works, the other figures in the line, and the other two I have yet to see. And there he is. There it is. There's the gimmick. Yep, yep, there he is. And then um, if you want to uh, pause and read this, if I can get it all in there. Oh, that's what she said. So, yeah, if you want to pause and read that, you are more than welcome to. And that pretty much does it for the packaging. Let's go ahead and get Trigger Happy out of box and see what we think. So here we have Trigger Happy out of package, and I gotta say, this thing is probably one of my, if not favorite, uh, headmasters to come out of the Titans Return line thus far. And uh, it's definitely out of the deluxe line. I'm just absolutely in love with this figure. Love the head sculpt on it. Paint is really good. This is a nice homage to the G1 toy. Though I never had that toy, uh, I think they updated it very, very well. And it just translates so good in this toy line. Now, as far as articulation on the figure, I'm going to take his guns off really quick so we can take a look. I love the twin guns here. It looks nice. Okay, so... The articulation. He does have his headmaster unit. Uh, it does turn left and right. It looks up and down just a wee bit. There is a twist at the waist, which is nice. Um, primarily used for transformation, but hey, it works. His arms kick up that far. They are on a swivel. Uh, so it's actually a hinge and a swivel, not a ball joint, uh, which is interesting. He does have twist at the upper arm. He's got an elbow joint. Uh, the hands do move in a little bit, uh, but that is for transformation. You can swing uh, the hand in and bring the gun down uh, if you so want uh, for some 
Uh, nice firepower, which is very, very cool. I like that ability. And then uh, his legs are on a ball joint. They kick up that far. They kick all the way back. He kicks way out. He's got a twist at the upper thigh, which is nice. He's got a really, really nice knee joint. And then uh, his feet are articulated, uh, again, primary for primarily for transformation, but it works really, really well. Um, you know, in very, very good posing ability. Now, the nice thing about this figure, and I've seen some other reviews that talk about some of the joints being loose. My particular figure is super, super tight. Um, nothing on this figure is loose at all. All the joints are very, very nicely done. So I think it's just kind of hit or miss, probably with a lot of these figures, on whether your joints are going to be loose or not on the toy. So taking a closer look at the figure itself, I love the sculpt, especially the head sculpt. That's what really drew me on this figure. Uh, I just like the way it looks, the red uh, face mask, and then it's got the blue face kind of mounted back behind it with the eyes painted on there. Very, very nice. Uh, the color scheme I like. I like the light grays, the gold paint apps on there, the silvers, the blues, a nice dark deep blue. Very Decepticon looking. I'm very, very impressed with it. And uh, again, it's a great homage to the original character, um, the original toy. Love the Decepticon logo on the silver uh, side wing piece there. Looks very nice. Overall, I think they did a good job. The gold again, the Decepticon logo, the silver paint apps, just gorgeous. Taking a look at the midsection of the figure, we get uh, the nose cone kind of draping down on the back. Looks pretty good. It rounds out the bot mode. His wings fold on the uh, sides of his arms there, which is not too terribly bad. Uh, he's got his uh, ship guns folded upwards. You can transform them down into weapon mode if you like. And he's got the cockpit, the gray legs. All looks really, really good. And finally, taking a look at the legs of the figure. Again, I like the little blue stripe on the uh, fin there from the jet mode. I think that looks pretty good. Um, the paint apps on the leg, the silver looks nice against the blue. We get the yellow down around the ankles. I think that looks pretty good. The light gray, again, I think is a good choice. Uh, there's a little hollowness on the back of the legs there, but that's okay. It gets hidden in transformation. And the thing stands really well and poses really well. For comparison, here we have Trigger Happy with the latest uh, Headmaster that I had from Titan's Return Line. It's the Voyager Class Broadside, and they look pretty cool together. Uh, it looks like he could definitely take on this guy with all the firepower that's going on there. Um, they are Headmasters, so the play gimmick is to switch out the heads. So let's do that really quick just to see what they look like. Um, God, this guy's Headmaster unit is on super tight. Okay, so let's put broadside on here. Uh, bink, see how he looks. Um, actually, it doesn't look bad. I kind of like that. Um, has a very Bruticus kind of look. Uh, it could definitely fit for a Decepticon. And then let's take a look at Trigger Happy's Headmaster unit on a broadside here. And again, not too terribly bad. Um, Looks like he could be an evil con. Now, the one nice thing I like about uh, the broad, or not broadside, the trigger happy head sculpt here is that I think it would make a really good uh, Nova Prime. I think that'd be very, very cool. Be nice to get that in the line. Now, Trigger Happy's alternate mode is a space jet, which is really fun. It reminds me of an X-Wing. So let's go ahead and transform him into his jet mode and see what we think. <laughs> So here we have uh, Trigger Happy in his jet mode, and I love it. Oh, it looks so much like an X-Wing. It is awesome. I may have to get one of these and repaint it as an X-Wing. Uh, maybe Poe's X-Wing from uh, Force Awakens. That would be cool. Um, now, the guns do mount under here, and I'll show that here in a second. But they also uh, turn into a weapon. Uh, let me remember how to do this here. Oh, here we go. Um, the double weapon that you can mount on the side or wherever you want to and then um, his little partner can stand in it if i can get him to stand these peg holes don't like to go in there there we go so there is his little partner on uh, the weapon stand very cool very fun but uh yeah i don't particularly care to use it that way i like to um, mount them as uh, weapons 
underneath to kind of give it that more attack power mode, which looks super sick, super cool. So yeah, oh, look at that. It is so awesome. Very cool. And of course, the little pilot can sit in there. And you want to kind of bend these legs a little to get him down into the cockpit there. And there it is. Oh, look at that. Um, love the paint apps, the silver paint app there, all the silver and the gold, everything up around up there. Very, very nice. The wings look good. I mean, the thing is awesome. He's got his landing gear that can go up and down. Just a fantastic looking um, figure. Uh, I could see them using this for a Cyclonus, uh, maybe. Uh, but yeah, it just it screams X-Wing to me, which I really, really do love. Um, I mean, this thing just looks super, super sick and super aggressive. For comparison, here we have the Trigger Happy next to the uh, Voyager Class Optimus Prime in his tanker mode. And uh, this guy's way cooler than this Prime figure. So much cooler, way more fun to transform, and just looks so much better. If it's between these two, save the 10 bucks and get the Trigger Happy. Now, Trigger Happy does have a few unofficial modes. I found one from uh, Vault Matrix, uh, a Guardian or Gerwalk mode. I'll show that off here in a second. Uh, there was a fan uh, who made a comment on my last unofficial mode um, for, I think it was, was it uh, Broadside? I'm not sure. Um, if you're watching, uh, leave a comment down below uh, who you were. He said there was a gun turret mode for Trigger Happy, and uh, he said, I bet you can figure it out. I was looking all over the interwebs, could not find a picture of it, but uh, I did figure it out, I think. Uh, tell me if I get it right, man. If I don't, leave a comment. Uh, so we're going to take a look at that. And he's also got a cool spider bot mode, which we'll go over as well. So first, let's take a look at the gun turret mode. So here we have Trigger Happy in his gun turret mode, and uh, yeah, I like it. It looks pretty cool. Um, he can just sit there and kind of keep blasting, boom, 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 boom. Very neat, very fun. Um, it looks very Cobra-like to me from G.I. Joe. Definitely neat and definitely fun. If this is uh, not what you were talking about, man, leave a comment down below. Let me know, but this is definitely a fun uh, alt mode. So he also has a really cool uh, Gerwalk mode or Guardian mode from Robotech. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. All right, so here is the uh, Gerwalk mode or Guardian mode. Uh, definitely cool. You basically uh, kind of lift him up from his gun turret mode, um, which is nice. You can also do some uh, alterations. Um, if I can get this thing to disconnect here. Come on. Uh, joints are so stiff on this thing. Um, you can also kind of bring these out if you so desire and give it a little bit more um, attack uh, spreadage. Uh, so yeah, I mean this thing, lots of fun, a lot of things you can do with it. Uh, definitely cool, definitely liking him. And uh, yeah, I mean this thing is just tons and tons of fun as far as what you can do with this guy and uh, the different kind of combinations that you can get him in. Um, very, very cool. And then he's got this kind of fun spider bot mode I came up with while messing around with him on the coffee table. So let me go ahead and show you what I got. So here we have Trigger Happy in his spider bot mode, and uh, yeah, I don't know, I just kind of like it. Um, kind of fun, kind of creepy looking, and uh, yeah, it just, it just, it reminds me kind of of that, uh, the little spider baby thing in uh, Toy Story, remember that, over at Sid's house. Uh, but definitely pretty fun, pretty cool, and uh, gives it just kind of a creepy little look. I can just see him kind of walking out and attacking uh, uh, an Autobot or something. But yeah, I definitely like uh, this goofy, weird, um, kind of spider-like mode. I think it's fun. So just kind of a close-up so you can see how he's set up. I've got the arms kind of spread out a little. The body is kind of bent back. I've got that piece kind of flat down. 
uh, the legs kind of sprawled out, and then I use the guns kind of give them some extra like little pincers or different legs and such back there. So yeah, definitely pretty fun. Um, love to hear what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. And of course, what other combinations have you been able to get this guy into? Leave a comment, add a link. I'd love to take a look. So is the Titans Return Trigger Happy a figure that you want in your Transformers collection? I'm going to say yes for a few different reasons. One, I think it's a great homage to the original figure. I think it's a nice update. So if you're an old G1-er and you like the old Headmasters, I think you're going to like this. If you like the new Headmaster stuff, this is definitely a cool figure. I like the alt mode on it. I think it looks really good, very X-Wing-like. I just wish it had a little more X-Wing-esque where you could uh, expand wings out. Uh, to kind of rip it off a little bit, but that's just a personal preference. Um, the color scheme's good. The sculpt is awesome. It poses really well. This is an all-round fun transformer, and I hope they use this body mold again and use the head uh, mold again. I just think it was a, a winner from the engineer's point of view. Uh, so definitely very cool. I like him. I think he's a lot of fun. Um, again, I hope we see this uh, reused in something else. Uh, because it works and it works well. Lots of fun. It's got the unofficial modes on it, which are always a lot of fun. Um, good times, good stuff. And, uh, you know, you can, you can, it's a deluxe. So it's about $15, 15 to $18 retail. So you can't go wrong with this uh, figure. So there he is. One of my favorites for the year so far. Trigger Happy from Titans Return. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share, like us on Facebook, and look for more videos in the future.